Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So we're out on the training pitch. I'm gonna be putting in a full individual session today. I'm pretty much breaking up my session into five components. So first component is warm up and activation. Then we're going into some fast feet work. Then I'm gonna go into some plyometrics. So working on that explosiveness. And then I'm gonna go into some match specific scenarios. So all of my technical work today is gonna to be very match specific. And then we're gonna end with a little bit of a fitness drill at the end as well. So pretty intense session probably be out here for an hour to an hour and a half somewhere in there today's training boots are the Morelia Neo Monocedas so these are made in Japan's my favorite boots of all time and I gotta say a huge thank you to Tokyo Football for setting me up with these so they're not easy to find if you've ever tried to find made in Japan Mizunos there's only a couple of retailers at least in North America who have them and they're very limited in their sizes and very expensive but Tokyo Football managed to sort these out below retail so if you've ever wanted to try Mizuna but you've been put off by the price I'd fully recommend checking them out looking forward to taking these for a spin today and just before we get into the warm-up a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video Squarespace is where I bought my website 7 training.com and from websites to analytics to marketing tools they're the all-in-one place to grow your online presence and manage your business but let's get into the session So for those of you who are doing this session for yourselves, we're going into the fast feet now. So just getting those fast twitch fibers fired up. So I'm gonna go through a variation of different exercises. And then after I've gone through the ladder, I'm just gonna accelerate to the 18 yard line. So it's only about 10 yards or so, maybe four or five meters, but just a little bit of an acceleration going at about 80 to 90%. Still a part of my warm up. So warming up gradually before I go into some more explosive stuff. And then we're going to go through each of the exercises twice. So for all of the exercises I show you, we're going to go through twice. Some of them you'll be leading with one leg, which means if I'm going from side to side and I'm leading with my left leg, the second time through you're going to lead with your right. So we'll go through each of the exercises twice and we'll get into the plyometrics. So that's the fast feet portion done. Again, these exercises are just good to get those fast twitch fibers firing up. And also it takes a little bit of coordination with your foot placement. You need to be accurate on where you place your feet. So not only you're switching on physically, but also a little bit mentally. So they're great to do at the start of the session. Now I feel really warm, ready to go. So I'm gonna go into some plyometric activities now. So we've got five exercises in total. We've got A skips. So for the A skips, we're gonna go through 20 reps, 10 on each leg and then we're gonna move into the next exercise which is jump squats we're gonna do five of those but you're trying to go as explosive as you can jump up as high as possible and then we're gonna go into jump squats with a twist we're gonna do ten in total so five twists each direction and then we're gonna go into some jump lunges 
and we're going to do five on each leg and then we're going to finish with some skater jumps again we're going to go five on each leg so we'll go through one circuit rest for about a minute or two and i'm going to repeat this one twice but i'll demonstrate all of the pliers right now That's one round, I'm gonna rest for a minute or two, get a drink of water, then I'm gonna repeat that twice. But instead of making you watch that all over again, I'll just do the second set off camera and then we'll get into the match specific training. So now we're gonna involve the ball and get some technical work. So this is the first of the two technical drills I'm going to be working on that are a bit more match specific for me as a winger. So we're starting on the side here, I always like to train in the environment I'm going to be playing in. So I'm out on the wing, I'm going to be playing a pass into this bench which I've flipped on its side. It's going to rebound back to me, I'm going to take a directional first touch and it's a bit of a weave through those two cones and then there's another cone there so I'm making a quick action to then push it down the line. So it's a quick movement of my feet and then I'm trying to get out of there because that's what you should be doing if you've got a couple of defenders around you. Quick movement to evade pressure but then you want to accelerate out of it. You don't want to hold onto the ball for too long. Then I'm just going to drive down the line. It's probably about 15 to 20 yard acceleration with the ball and then I'm just going to cross it in aiming for around the penalty spot. So I've got four balls here. I'll cross them in and then I'll fetch them. That's going to be my recovery and then I'll repeat this maybe three or four times and then we'll get into a shooting drill as well. So let's go. So that's the crossing done as you can see just trying to get those early crosses in that's something i'm trying to work on instead of dribbling all the way to the end and then trying to loft the ball in i'm trying to whip it early almost around the front or behind the back four for the striker to run onto so just getting it into the box with pace so that's something i'm going to be working on a lot i'm just going to do the right today and then in my second individual session this week i'm going to do the same thing on the left side so going into a shooting drill now Using the bench again, this time I'm going to be turning with the ball. So a quick check over my shoulder, receiving with the back foot and turning. And it's a quick weave through the two cones. Then I'm driving directly at that cone at the edge of the box, cutting inside and then just finishing. I've left the lacrosse goal in there just as a target to avoid. So I'm trying to hit anywhere but the lacrosse goal. So just aiming for the corners whenever possible. I'm just going to go through this maybe three rounds of four strikes. So let's go.
so that's all the technical work done now i'm just going to finish with a fartlek run so fartlek means you're changing speeds it's a very football specific way to build your fitness so it's a very simple run we just start at the sideline and it's a jog to the 18 yard box and you pick up your speed slightly so it's kind of like a recovery run pace and then once you hit the six yard box the edge of it it's a sprint from one side of the six yard box to the other and then you bring it back down to that recovery run pace then once you hit the 18 yard box back down to a jog all the way to the opposite sideline then you turn around and repeat back to the start and that's one run and then you're going to rest for about 30 seconds then i repeat this one five times you can do more if it's a fitness specific session or less depending on how your legs are what kind of session you're trying to accomplish but i just do five at the end of a session like this and that's pretty intense and that's good enough for me so gonna get into it now run there and back rest for 30 seconds repeat five times so that's the session complete was able to involve quite a few different elements in today's session for a complete winger training session try that session out for yourselves especially if you're a winger a lot of those exercises you can do no matter what position that you play they're still going to benefit you so give those a go hope you enjoyed it really enjoyed playing in my new boots the mono cedars are amazing especially the made in japan neos they're so lightweight and so comfortable they really remind me of the leather f50 adi zero which was my favorite boot of all time but i think these are even better just because the build quality is that much nicer the leather is such a higher quality and the durability is better too so these are going to last a long time so if you haven't tried made in japan mizunos and you've been thinking about it but unsure about the price tag whether they're worth it i personally think they're worth the price but if you want to pay a little bit less make sure you check out tokyo football because they can get you them straight from japan have a look at this box it looks so cool so you can see on the side it's got all the japanese sizing as well as the brazilian sizing so i didn't realize mizunos are very popular in brazil a lot of my brazilian teammates said they grew up wearing them because they know how comfortable and high quality they really are so make sure you check out tokyo football they sell other brands of boots as well and they can get you them below retail so i'll leave links to them in the description box below but before I go just want to say another huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video Squarespace is where I built my very own website 7mlctraining.com it's become the central hub of my entire brand and allows me to put everything 7mlc training related in one place from my training programs to my podcast my mentorship program as well as links to all of my platforms such as my Instagram pages and also my YouTube channel so really helps me represent 7mlc training in the best way possible and you don't need to know anything about coding or web design they've got loads of professionally made templates so that you can represent your brand in the best way possible as well and if you use the link in my description www.squarespace.com 7mlc you can get 10% off your first website but i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did make sure you smash the like button hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos and i'll see you guys in my next video